So today in this video, I'm going to show you how do we debug variables in awesome enterprise. Let's start. So I have set up a sample module with a bunch of variables defined. Now let's see how do we echo them. So in awesome, we have primarily two ways uh, of debugging. One is echo, which allows you to echo an output to the browser and we have dump so i'll be showing you both the examples of how to use echo and dump let's start with echo env dot echo module dot x so now the things interesting things about this is echo executes outside of the context so while if you look at this the assumption would be that echo will happen below will happen below the h2 but because echo executes outside of the context what you are getting is this now we have three options of echoing like you can echo a variable using env.echo another format supported is env.module.x.echo you can do module.echo you can echo a module variable directly using module.echo. You don't have to write the full sentence, which is a short for env.echo module.x or module.x.echo. For template variables, you can use template.echo or template.variable.echo. So template.xt.echo. Now, let's see the other option that we have, which is dump. I have saved the code. Now let's see the output. Yes. So the major difference between echo and dump is one executes within the context, the other does not execute within the context. So echo does not execute within the context while dump executes within the context. The syntax are almost similar. So we have env.dump module.x or env.dump template.xt, which is x or xt is the variables, right? So we can use dump or echo based on the scenario. Shortcuts are available module.dump and template.dump or module.variable.dump or template.variable.dump. They are almost similar. So, which to use and which not to use is a call based on where you want to see the output. One special scenario where you know echo makes is required is when you are doing a return so if you have a you have a code where you want to do a return let's say i have a template called test in which i have set up a variable and i want i am returning a variable and for some reason that variable is not showing let's just see the output of this code Right. So how do we debug it? Now, if you use dump, 
let's see what happened you see nothing and when you use echo you get this message here so basically whenever you are doing template dot return or module dot return then the only way to so a variable is to use echo a dump won't work so if you used template dot dump message it will not show while if you do template dot echo the output will show it will show outside the context because it is outside the context that is why it works yeah now we have these two options the third option that we have let's say i don't want to you know for temporary i want to comment out the or i don't want to execute a set of uh, short codes i can use debug dot ignore You see, this entire code was skipped and not executed. Another alternative, of course, is this. Which will treat this as a comment, which will make this as a comment. And we will still not see any difference. Right? Now let's make this a comment instead. Okay. Now, next up. This echo, apart from the echo and dump, we also have few output modifiers that will allow you to debug an output of a short code. So, we have both echoes and dumps of course right so we have o dot echo and o dot dump echo always outputs out of the context while dump outputs within the context now the difference is this while this will show the actual output o dot echo will also echo the output or dump the output so and this echo or dump can be used with any short code that we have a service, uh, content type, a handler, anything, it will work. Next up, we have o.log. o.log allows you to log the output to an HTML file defined on a path defined in log path so based on your log path o dot log will out also capture the output of the short code to an html file which you can use later to see the output so we have two more options o dot exit and o dot die so what o dot exit does it exits the execution of the flow and because it stops the moment it finds o dot exit no output is rendered on the on the screen other than the variable where you have put in 
exit so just to see let's remove this and see now it will be template.txt would be the last line right and now let's use the debug ignore we are saying ignore the short codes and we have all the outputs back Similarly, like o.exit, we also have o.die. Your choice, which one you want to use. They both behave similarly. Finally, so with this, uh, I've shown you all the examples of debugging. There is one more thing that I want to show. So for error logging, we have a new app which basically logs all the errors that are being generated and provides you with a very detailed debugging information. So if you encounter while working with Awesome Enterprise 3, you, if you encounter uh, a screen or a message that said something is wrong and in brackets some number, that is your error number that you can use here. Type the error code and jump to the error that might have happened. You can see the details of the error by going to this URL, which can give you all the details. It shows you uh, number of times this error occurred, in module it occurred, app the service was used uh, what was the error details of the error uh, status whether it is fixed or not the message yeah. it also shows you the request url when this occurred error occurred any request data or header data various file file details if there was an sql query that was being executed it would have shown you this the short code which was being executed when this error occurred the call stack at that time and if trace is enabled then the file trace is also visible here it also links to the back end so if you click on this link it will take you to the module and approximate position of where this error might have occurred so you can mark it done you can delete it also gives you a dump of what all rows we have for that so this is our error log app. If you don't have this app installed and you're awesome, uh, using Awesome 3, go ahead and install this app. This will make your life easier for debugging.